How many of you people clicked on this video because of the title? What's wrong with your minds? The morning glory is the view and the sunshine and the blue skies that are over there. Anyway, in today's vlog, we are off for a pint and a full English. It's what every Brit does. Every Englishman comes on holiday, he has a pint and a full English. And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. Anyway, before we do that, remember like, subscribe, click that little bell for notifications if I upload new videos. Follow me on Instagram, which is down there. Also, you can get your merchandise down there as well. Now, without further ado, let's go. Now I have had two full English breakfasts while I've been here. First one was at the rum pot, which was okay, wasn't too bad. The second one that I had was uh, at Bora Bora and I thoroughly enjoyed that one. I have seen that they've got breakfast down here, I think, at the, the Temple Bar, which I'm gonna go and try out today and see whether that's any better or not. But I'm gonna push it and have a pint with it this time as well. Why not? Tenerife, it's sunny, let's go for it. I've said it in a couple of other vlogs, but I'm stopping at the Laguna Park too. And this hill really is a killer. And I have to say, I haven't done a review on the hotel or the apartments, Laguna Park too. I wouldn't overly recommend it, I have to say. In fact, I wouldn't recommend it. Anyway, it's not about that today. It's about the breakfast and the pint. So, onwards. Oh, what a walk. I mean, look, right over the motorway here. It's keeping me fit and walking off all these calories anyway. So I filmed a vlog three or four days ago, back on the end of February called What's the Weather Like in March? Technically it wasn't March, it was the day before or a couple of days before. Well it is now March. And that one was called What's the Weather Like in March? Well it is now March and it is red hot. It's about 10.30am at the moment. It's going to be a scorcher. Bring it on. There's the world famous rum pot where I had the breakfast the other day. As I say, it was all right. I mean, I wouldn't say it was bad. It was just nothing really to write home about. Like I say, Bora Bora so far, really good. Enjoyed it. There we go, the Irish Rover. Has anyone been there? Is it any good? You know the score. Pop them comments down below. Let's get them comments rolling. There we go, Mario's fillet steak, 17 euros, 75. Have you been? Is it any good? Comments down below. I've seen quite a few people in that uh, coconut cocktail bar at night and I've never heard of it. Have you? Is it any good again? 
let me know. Here we go, Temple Bar. Okay, so the breakfast is available from nine, and here they are. I think I'm going for the big breakfast at six euros ninety. Come on, let's have it. A few moments later. Okay, so I'm going to get uh, the. Is the big breakfast? You can have a traditional or big one. Big one is double the traditional. Is that like six ninety five? No. That's the six. That's the big one, isn't it? Big one is six ninety. Yeah. One is 450. Now we go for the big one. Very good. And I'll have a pint of uh, Dorada or whatever. We have Alhambra on draft here. Oh no, Alhambra. Alhambra. Uh, no, not Alhambra. Oh man, no, no not the. Uh, we have course, Carling, Hope House. Carling, Carling, we'll do Carling. I don't want to get a Lambert, that stuff's lethal. <laughs> strong, strong. Strong? Whoa. Yeah, we, have the, we have the special one. Yeah, we'll give that one a minute, so we'll just go for the Carling. Perfect, so we breakfast and the Carling it is, okay? Yeah, thank you very much, thank you. Okay, so I've ordered the, the big breakfast, six euros 95, and a Carling. I'm not having an Lambert this time in the morning. I mean, I'll do... You know, I'll drink for you, but not an Alhambra. Jeez. And it is roasted, it's boiling. I should have gone in the shade. There you go, my friends, it's not even midday. I'm doing this for you. Now I'm doing this one for me. Wow, this sun is really hot. Ah, glad we got that beer to cool me down. I just need this breakfast now, I'm quite interested in it. It is six euros 95, which is a lot more than what uh, Bora Bora's was, but this today is about, not about how much it cost, but whether it's any good and which is the best breakfast. Okay, so looking good, we've got two sausages, we've got tomatoes, we've got two eggs, we've got toast that isn't buttered this time, whereas uh, I think Bora Bora buttered it. Um, we've got beans there, and we've got bacon, which uh, it looks good, looks good. We'll test it out and see what it's like. Right, let's tuck in. Okay, looking good, first off, we have Heinz tomato ketchup. Here we go. Now then, here's a question for you, comments down below. Do you like your toast pre-buttered or not? Or would you rather butter it yourself? Comments down below on that one. We've got HP sauce. They are in packets. I do prefer a, a bottle. But we've got the right sauces. We've got Heinz tomato ketchup and we've got HP sauce. So Temple Bar, you've got the right names there. I just, can't, I just hate these packets, they're doing my head in. Sometimes, especially when you can't tear them. To get the, you have to get the fork through and tear it, there we go. I'm mixing and matching today, I'm getting my um, <clears throat> HP sauce on there and mixing it up with a bit of ketchup as well. Right. Have a look. So again, look, you get sauce literally everywhere with these packets. If you're watching Temple Bar, get rid of them. Get rid of them, have a bottle. The breakfast looks good. And I'm impressed that you've got brand names there. But let's get the bottles going. Right. 
Right, we'll test the sausage first. Ooh, actually, sausage looks really good inside. Yeah. That's good. Eggs, good consistency there. Taste that. Very good. To be fair, the bacon looks good. Tastes good too. I can't say I've ever had a beer with my breakfast before. Right, I'm going to eat this. I'll see you after. I'll fast forward this bit and I'll let you know what I think. First of all, I'll tell you, it's better than the rum pot. But is it better than Bora Bora? Considering Bora Bora was three euros odd. I'll tell you in a minute. Okay, I can tell you exactly what I think, and I think most of you will agree. I think, I think I need another drink of this first. I'm not going to mark this out of 10 because I can't remember exactly what I marked Bora Bora out of 10, but, it, but I'll tell you now. I prefer Bora Bora, right? And I know it's not about the price. I think the, the produce was probably slightly better here. I think the sausage is probably a slightly better produce than the bacon was. However, as, a, as an overall, I personally think Bora Bora was better. I'm not saying that this wasn't. I mean, this was a very close, this is very, very close. Very close, it was an excellent, excellent breakfast. So don't start, you know, Having a go at me if you've been here because it was an excellent breakfast and as I say I think the produce was slightly better. But for me, Bora Bora, I know it doesn't come down to price but a lot of the time it does. People come on holiday and they have a budget, they have to work within a budget and I think Bora Bora was an excellent value breakfast. It was just as filling and just as nice. So there you have it. But it was nice, really enjoyed it. Personally I think I'd rather have a latte with my breakfast but there you go. Anyway, that's all from me today. Remember, like, subscribe, click that little bell for notifications. There's always somebody loud isn't there, in the background when I'm trying to do it. And when I upload new videos, follow me on Instagram, which is down there. You can also get your Mac Master merch down there as well. And that's all from me today, my friends. Until next time, excuse me, I'll see you in the next one. Pardon me, goodbye.